live right now. I am. I'm a mess. Hi, hey. everybody. This is yours. Yes. It's late night live with loyalty. I'm a mess because um, it's late. <laughs> and I'm tired. And I'm ready to get this show on the road. So <laughs> let's, uh, hopefully, you guys can see us because it's pretty bad reception here. But whatever, we're going to do it for ourselves too. And hopefully, it at least records it. So yep, this will be fun. <laughs> if, fun, you guys, fun, fun. if you guys can't see us or you can't hear us, let us know. I you that... can't do that. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm new at this live thing and I'm uh, the one holding the camera. Let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you guys can hear us and you can see mine. Because if not, what we're going to have to do is probably record it and then post it. So we yeah. see that there's 10 people here. There's Kelsey. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. So let me know if you guys can see us. Um, it, let us know if it's clear. This is our first time in our, our Wi Fi and it already kind of sucks. So. All right. Hey Amanda, uh, can you guys, Kelsey, thumbs let us up. know. We got thumbs right, up. We got thumbs up. All right, we we're good to go. Up. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right, cheers. Flipping off of me. Cheers. cheers. All right. All right, Ryan, you ready to do this? I'm ready. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We. So the, the original idea, yes. by the way, was for you guys to ask questions and then. I answer them, and if I answer them wrong, then I drink, but I figure that I'd probably go to the blurry. emergency room. Glitchy so and blurry. We're not going to do that, but let me see here. All right, he's getting me on the other tablet. <laughs> it's just bad in here. Aaron Kaiser can hear us. Okay. All right. All right, Protege. Don't. All right. Your dog is in the tub waiting for you unattended right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are starting off with a model dog. And um, I don't know if many of you guys know, but you have to prep your dog just like um, your model dog. You have to prep it just as if you were to groom a real dog. So tonight we are prepping or bathing and prepping. Right, hun? Right. So certified master bather over here with his bathing certificate. Let's get master started. A <laughs> master bather. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, master bather. In college, I might have been a master bather. Oh, God, okay. Right, I didn't anyways. even realize that. Um, it's night with loyalty. It's <laughs> night with loyalty. <laughs> All right, so get your dog in the tub. <laughs> okay, drink. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get the show on the road. All right. All right, so. First thing I do is rope him up. Yep, make sure he doesn't jump out or scratch you or get you soaking wet. So, so I know, where's the towel at? Oh, I gotta grab him. All right. Okay, so. I'll take over. Go get the yep, towel, because I definitely like to do this. Hey, everybody. Sorry if it's a little glitchy, but we're gonna play around in here. If it doesn't work today, then what we'll do. We'll do stuff probably in my shed, or we, we might even have to do it in the house upstairs to do the scissor work, but we only have one tub really set for this uh, situation here. So, still look okay? Yep. All right. So, all right. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so first of all, um, today we are using Hydra Volumizing Shampoo to make the hair stand up as if you were doing it on a real dog. Um, it's already mixed in the bottle. Okay. And does this dog have any allergies? No allergies that I'm aware of. Okay, good. So, so it's a first time he's dog. a little nippy at first, <laughs> so he doesn't like water. So, uh, oh, right. you, so it might turn into a gremlin or something. So, <laughs> 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 all right, no, for real, <laughs> you're gonna be a great groomer, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> all right, so doesn't like being wet. Is it warm? It's warm. All right, it's good. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Excuse her. <laughs> You're okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. All right. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Peter broke his leg. <laughs> Did you really? Stop standing up. Did you break him? He'll be all right. <laughs> Pretty sure it was like that when you came into the shop. <laughs> yeah. Was it limping when it came in? <laughs> Um, so I have to I have to replace this. So I have the new nozzle coming in in two days. 
All right, so he's getting the dog what? The butthole comb? <laughs> I don't. With the eye boogie comb? <laughs> anal Do you see any does, fleas? Does the owner want the anals released? Uh, sure, you can do that. Check them. Hey! Jazair, can you come release the anals? True story, guys. True story. <laughs> when I have helped Jazair in the shop, if the anals need to be done, uh, I go watch the dog on the grooming table and Jazair does that business. He refuses to do the anal glands, guys. I know it has something to do with this, but I'm just afraid I'm going to like pop a testicle or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fix your dog. All right, he's really broken. <laughs> Really he moves, so his, his legs move. So. Right. Anyways, um, no, I don't see any fleas yet, but I do need to... Uh... <laughs> somebody says... <laughs> I know it is. I had to use it the right. other night. Somebody I gotta... Uh, somebody said you had a... Or we had a have a poo today that was worse than that. <laughs> and somebody said you uh, broke his legs. <laughs> wow, it actually looks like a dog under there. Yeah. Got some structure, nice structure going on. <clears throat> You're okay. <laughs> Kelsey said that's okay. Save it for the vet if you're not sure about it. <laughs> the anal glands. I'll have to tell. Oh. <laughs> I just thought about the broken leg. I, I don't know. I think it's the anal glands. Alright. Jazair's going to fire you. <laughs> He's actually a really good bather. Like he thoroughly bathes the dogs and preps them really well. Um, so I don't see <laughs> in any, real life. I don't see any fleas right now. So no fleas. All right. So. Where's the uh, tear lips shampoo? He'll be fine. <laughs> You're good, buddy. You're good. <laughs> I first. scrub it really, really in, like everywhere to the skin. Okay. <laughs> You guys will see I get the eyeballs first. Make sure they're really white. <laughs> <clears throat> this is actually like the size of dog that I really do like to work with. Um, what was it like a, we had a puppy lab that I did that I really loved. Um, yeah. It was some kind of puppy. I don't remember it what it was. was <laughs> Not that. You're really getting stretched out here, buddy. <laughs> you better stand up. We're not pancaking today. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> right in the eyes. Yep, no anals for me, not in my salary breakdown. <laughs> That's I'd say funny. Like, honestly, the <clears throat> it shouldn't be done. I only do it on dogs that they request it. So I agree. It really shouldn't be done the by us. Days, the, the two days that I did work in your shop, there's only one really like bad butthole. Like where you, the comb, like talking about the stuff by the bottom. Listen, I gave you that Sheltie that was like 10 pounds overweight. That's the one you're talking about. That's the dog you like did not. It is. It's a hard coat to scissor. <laughs> Just wait until you scissor it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, you did a Sheltie and you said never ever again because it was so overweight. And so was hairy. Hair. Yeah, the hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> you don't know how to move the legs. <laughs> this is uh. It's bad. I know. It's really hard. Actually. What is? <clears throat> honestly, like the poodle coats and stuff, obviously are you know take a long time. Um, but I can, I can tell you right now, like this is just really hard to get the shampoo in. It is hard. I know. I prepped mine at work one day real quick, and I'm like, geez, I thought this would be a. Quick do you guys, do thing. guys wear gloves when you are um, bathing your dogs? Just kind of curious. I, I don't, and I, not even thinking about COVID or anything like that. I'm just curious if you guys wear gloves when you are bathing your dogs, because that's something I don't do. Um, I used to. The two times that I've been really nervous when I do bathe is when the dog is sitting <laughs> like this, and I'm doing the chest like this, and I realize I'm leaning over and just right like you gotta make sure my face. yeah but i also there's gotten pretty good about i know the dogs right that, yeah that the she, dogs i know i give me a dog that's like brand new no I think. not yet <laughs> so okay um i know i didn't do a very good job shampooing these dogs so. okay well let's check it so i think so, it needs to be bathed twice uh okay so we're missing the legs the legs have no shampoo in them and yeah, the chest brilliant. 
<laughs> All right, well, we gotta start. <laughs> okay. So, so just made the legs real quick a little bit. Um, somebody said, good job about asking about tier lists. That is a really good job. You remember everything you've been taught. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you to Terry D. Moreno. She's, yes. uh, she's my instructor. Where was that? Oh, Hershey. <laughs> Hershey. Um, Hershey. No way. You didn't leave us in Hershey. <laughs> Where the heck Where was, was it? That? Pittsburgh. Ohio? No, not Ohio. It was Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was Ohio. <laughs> Um, somebody said, my boyfriend, not a groomer, is like, what is happening? <laughs> you tell me, guys. This guy's... <laughs> it's fun. We're uh, practicing with this lovely dog that is a little bit out of control. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. Can we go ahead and rinse the whole body? Rinse, yep. Look at that stack. I know. <laughs> Overextended <laughs> stack with a posting, a posting going on. <laughs> Uh, somebody says I use a scrub brush I only wear gloves if I'm washing a dog with skin condition or something super um, I feel like I can't feel the shampoo is 100% out if I do wear gloves yeah that's how I am I used to wear gloves because I had my nails done and I didn't want to you know chip them and stuff but I can't have? feel when the you guys shampoo. are bathing, I know you guys have been bathing, some of you guys have been bathing a long time. You ever get to that point where you're like, all right, cool, I get to, I get to finally dry. You get to that last part of the body and you see so many soap suds and you're like, damn it. It's kind of like I when you get out of the shower. Yes. And you like do this to your hair and there's still shampoo. It's still it. shampoo and then you turn it back on and rinse it out again. Yeah. Like this. I've, Can you zoom in on this? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So I've been, this is a really tough coat. It is a really tough coat. <laughs> You're going to have so much fun. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> Make sure his toes don't get caught in the grate. I got really good grates in this tub now. <laughs> we usually use a uh, paw mat. Or a paw mat, yeah, that goes in the tubs. I haven't put a paw mat in this one yet. Yeah, it's not, you know, the model dog's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have scrubby gloves, but I don't use them for health reasons. Have somebody ask me a question, and if I get it right, they have to drink. If I get it wrong, I'll drink. They have oh, to I drink. Think, if I get it wrong, Jazair has to drink. Oh, okay. All right. So, you guys have shoot me bathing, some shoot me some questions about bathing to ask Ryan, and if he gets it right, I drink. Uh, we're just drinking lovely uh, Seagram's Escapes. Delicious drinks. No. And then if he gets it wrong, he drinks. So, okay, let's see. Yep, we're good. I like to wash my hands after starting dogs, which the bath takes care of. Can you zoom uh, in It's quick? true. Yep, okay, zooming in. So here's a little trick. And I know some of you guys probably know this already, but go to the top of the feet and squeegee it out because yeah. that's where a lot of the water just stays right there. So you squeegee this out right here <clears throat> from the top. You've been taught very well. I mean, this is actually, I'm, I'm It's very hard. It dries the, fast though. The thing, the thing that is hard for me to remember when I go back to the shop is, is the shampoo and conditioner. And which dog uses two washes, which one uses Everybody gets two washes, Ryan. Two washes. Not this guy. Not this guy. <laughs> um, so in including what you're doing here, I also go down on the side. So I literally make my hand like a, um, like a squeegee. Like a squeegee and go down the sides. And then I do the ears and the tail, which the tail's missing. I, I gotta find his tail. We put it somewhere. <laughs> this is actually like such a weird coat. I don't even think that that would. It might not even make a difference. Oh, it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys. Um, oh, somebody said everyone gets two washes from Loyalty Pet Products. <laughs> somebody's on. It's probably Kevin. Everyone gets. Two I don't know. Washes? Somebody's on our Loyalty Pet Products commenting. Oh, not Kevin. Kevin too, but okay. 
doubt he's on. Awake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, my brother's in Romania, so it's like four in the morning there. <laughs> I really doubt it's him, but it could be. He did post a comment on one of my posts. Oh, okay. Um, so ask us any questions, or, or sorry, ask Ryan any tricky questions about Don't bathing. Don't your dog unattended. <laughs> you need that drink? Okay. <laughs> All right, so. 15%. Lovely. Your phone? Yeah. I told you. It went down fast. I told you. All right. All right. So we'll have to, we might have to jump back on with the other phone. How many people are watching? 26. If you guys get up to 75 and giving away a free pair of scissors. Yes, 75 people giving away a free pair of scissors. So Did you hear that? And if we do get cut off, we'll hop back on probably on my phone. Yep. So. I didn't think it, my battery would go down that fast. All right, so now I need the dryer. Yep, okay. Do you have earmuffs? I don't. I gotta buy some for here. Guys, this is a whole new setup for us, so we haven't even groomed in here yet. <laughs> All right, now, I do remember, because you've yelled at me quite a bit. Yeah. When I'm getting ready to start the dryer, and you guys at your salon should practice this as well, you need to say, dryer on, that yes. way that the groomer mm. is grooming a dog on the table, if the dog freaks out because of the, the noise, you know, you don't want to cut the dog, so. Well, that's for people that, like, our, our bathing area is open. It's open. Everything so goes. it's for it's yeah. So we always tell everybody, hey, we're starting the dryer, not right. freaking anyone out. You've got the towel. I'm gonna do show you, you guys. Ooh. Go. Somebody got a has a question. Oh. But this one could go many different ways, cause it's yeah. Uh, he's uh, he's got medicated shampoo, so we like to let it sit a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So somebody says, uh, do you clean ears in the tub? So that could go many different ways based on opinions. In the tub, uh, you haven't taught me to do that. I don't. So then no. Yeah. I listen to my wife. That's a smart <laughs> thing to do as a husband, so I don't do that. Uh, I'm not going to drink on that question because I think it's probably a... It's an opinionated one. Opinion. Yeah. All right. So I mean, gonna... yeah, well, I was just going to say, I don't clean ears in the tub. I do it um, outside the tub. I scrub ears like their ear hair, but that's it. So here's a good not their way, ear hair, but here's a good way to save the outside some, hair. Save some time on the bathing and that's to put the towel back here and the reason being is because when you are um, blow drying if you just let it sit like this more than likely you're gonna have a bigger dog than this the water is gonna hit back off here and hit right back here or it's just gonna drift onto this side of the coat so if you put the well usually what happens towel, hun is this, you'll be ba or drying this leg and it gets the other leg wet. Yeah, so you go like So this. you put a towel in between. But I also do this as well when I'm going under. Yeah. Like the whole body. <clears throat> that is not something I picked up, Terry Di Marino. Yeah, that's tall. All right, All right dryer's go. on. Put it on high. It's gonna take you forever. <laughs> you see it? in the house. I gotta bring them in. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> Talk to your dog. Tell him he's okay. <laughs> you're okay in there. <laughs>
if you hold the dryer like a pencil, you have more control. That is true. You are holding your dryer weird. Yeah, it. that is weird. <laughs> Ryan, stop. Crazy. Excuse our professionalism. I don't hold a pencil like normal. Yeah, that's how I hold it. You don't? I do everything different. Ear protection, a mask. So we do use ear protection. <laughs> And uh, recently we do uh, wear masks as well. Uh, ear protection is not in our kennel yet. It's one of the things I have to order. <laughs> All right, Cape Coral. Somebody's from Cape Coral. What? Somebody's from Cape Coral. <laughs> Nashville, uh, Ohio, Ohio, Texas. <laughs> South Carolina. June says it's better. She's happy that you're holding that dryer that way now. <laughs> uh, one more thing is slower is better. Yes. So I know a lot of the groomers in that one bathing course were like, oh yeah, I'm trying to like go really fast, but away or not followers but watchers we are going to give away a free pair of shears so share to your friends and maybe you have that chance of winning a, a free pair of shears <laughs> just trying to take a nap on you must be a relaxing dry <laughs> Looking good. Now's a good time to see if there's any mats. Yep, check for mats. Try to break it up with the dryer. <laughs> hey, Jan. Welcome to uh, Late Night Live with Loyalty. <laughs> That's a tongue twister in a way. It's too many L's. <laughs> much less wrist activity there is though save your wrist it's true the way you're holding it is much better right hold the ear <laughs> the whole inside of the ear wow you're great great bather You will get mats. Nope. Jump. Yep. Slow and steady. <laughs> Kelsey says, uh, yeah, no whipping Nene with that dryer. <laughs> Not with that long coat. Got a lot of coat. How's it drying? Oh, it's dry. Cool. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fix his legs. He's <laughs> <It's> overextended. <laughs> 
Oh, Wait, is your dog a he or a she? Mm -hmm. It's a he, okay. Mm -hmm. Just checking. I want to take a look at this. What do we got going I on? I want to get that checked out. Oh no, we got a hole. Did you cut the dog? <laughs> are learning how to groom and this is the first session so we bathe the dog and um we bathe them in hydro volumizing shampoo and we are going to fluff dry it we'll fluff dry a couple legs and then what dry it first you didn't even dry it before you <laughs> dried it <laughs> <laughs> you didn't dry it. You squeegeed it. You didn't dry it with a towel. Oh, we failed. You just not. You just put on ten more minutes on your time. The first like two dogs, I always forget a step. It's either I'll forget to cover my ears. I'll forget to cover the dog's ears for a split second. I'll forget to bathe it twice. I mean, it's always something. And then by the third dog of the day, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Oh wow. Good job. So we'll we'll uh, prep a couple legs now. I will tell you, uh, <laughs> the hair falls out easily. It's got some kind of skin condition. Um, so <laughs> is this because of the model dog. It is because of the model dog. <laughs> um, there's like a ton of hair. It just you got to be careful when you prep it. All right. So we're gonna just do the couple legs that he did dry. How much? What's the percentage on there? Oh, the percentage. I'm at 9%. Oh, How did it go from 33 to 15 so fast? I know, but I was at 15 when we kind of started, and now at 9. <laughs> um, you don't think you did very well with uh, your drying, sir? <laughs> I think most of the water is... Oh, it's in... Wait, oh, that's not... I thought stuck. that was dripping. Here, it's just a piece of hair. Stuck in here. Oh, water, maybe. Because it's... Listen, let's be honest here. It's like stuck up in there so when i pick them up it's oh yeah that makes sense okay all right let me plug in this dryer for you yes how about you plug in your phone you need a oh, um, you're gonna charge it real quick we got nine percent you're just gonna fluff a couple eggs you're just gonna die i'm oh, gonna charge it real quick i how am i gonna charge it because the plug it in there they're really far it away eh, it's okay we'll be fine it right we'll be fine okay. okay turn it on the dryer mm -hmm. get your brush grab brushes go pick a brush Alright. I will be going with the Chris Christensen coral brush. Because that's what Desire talks about all the time. <laughs> Alright. I love that brush. Alright, what am I doing here? Just hitting power. Okay, hold on. Let's I see. Need to probably now you have to drink, Ryan. Up. LOL. Okay, Kelsey said, oh yeah, maneuvering the dryer to your advantage is a learned skill. You can wiggle it a little or wiggle it a bit close to the skin to break up mats. Yeah, that's what I do. Slow and steady for some parts. As long as you're not whipping around and having some method to the madness. I usually keep it's it in true. spot for a good while. Yeah. I usually keep it in the spot for about 15 to 20 seconds and then I move it a little bit. Because I know it starts to get warm. Uh, the dryer doesn't get warm. This one. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, that one does. Um, okay, so don't hold your dog like that. <laughs> Way up in the air, probably. Um, okay, so everyone's saying like... Uh, Used to get the water out only so in my like what i go by is i dry a dog 75 percent with the force dryer and then the other 25 percent i will fluff dry because i still want it damp to get the hair oh, yeah. straight oh he's wet wait a minute is that the side you did i did I oh do this side okay yeah, this is the side you were working on. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, fluff dry this leg. And remember, lots of hair is going to fall out. I think he's got so, sebaceous sanitis or something. Can I, can <laughs> All right, what? What I do you want? I'm going to move it around because I'm used to it at your shop. Oh, on the right side? side? Yeah, put it in the right side. Can you have room? Yeah. Oh, it's just it's short because I have to get an extension cord. We're just, okay. like I said, this is our first time right. grooming in this area. Oops. Okay. Turn the dryer on. Now, and then 
and then normally I would string them up. Yep, string them up. <laughs> yeah, let me just string up the dog. What am I doing here? Because this is a new dryer. A new dryer. Okay, so you turn it on first. And then put it all the way on the heat. You're okay, buddy. And then let's see. Oh, you're already starting wrong. Here's a question for Ryan, guys, on my behalf. Um, how do you brush the legs? What direction do you brush the legs? Down. No, you brush the legs up. Uh -huh. Drink. Somebody said you're manhandling your dog friend. <laughs> um, Kelsey, or not Kelsey. Wait, Kelsey said Chris Christensen is the bomb, and then Emily is here for this. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just had a lesson. We brush the legs up. We fluff up. Because you know what that does, Ryan? Question number two. It poops the hair out. It makes it stand up. Cooler. You are training the hair to stand up. Because we don't, when I we... I need to train this dog to stand up, because he's just good at shit. <laughs> Um, I'm not even, I'm barely touching the dog. <laughs> yeah, stand still. Yeah. Alright, so hold its leg. <laughs> These model dogs are not fun to work with, guys, I promise you. So. <laughs> start from the bottom. Grab that, that hair at the bottom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh He's a little tired already from the bathing experience. <laughs> so you don't have to get down to the skin with this. Try the other Chris Christensen one. The black one. Yep. I think that brush is too big for him. Maybe. Am I holding this like a pencil also? Lay it down. Toe up, toe up. <laughs> um, lay the dog down. No, like on its side, like he's dead. <laughs> and now prep. That's something you would normally do. Uh, it is actually not for a real dog, but this is how I prep mine. You know, manhandle them. <laughs> well, your dog, you said your dog, you can do it because you trust them. Five percent. Um, but no, I'm saying, well, yeah, my dogs are learned are trained to be brushed when they're laying down because they're poodles and show coat. So, but this is a um. Pre what is it called? Oh my gosh, what is it called? This dog. Model, Model dog. dog. <laughs> so it's easier to brush up like that just because of the, the way the hair is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, go run and get. Stay here real quick, buddy. Run. I gotta go get a charger for my phone, guys, because it's at 5%, and he is taking forever to groom this dog or prep him. <laughs> that is probably the one thing I'm really scared of is the fact that I, I will take a while for <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be taking forever. All right, so. Right here, do you need, do you need a bigger cord? Oh, I that one's fine. Oh, that one doesn't even fit my phone. Oh. <laughs> All right, excuse me, it's late night, so this is what I look like late night. Um, so anyways, if we get 75 followers, you guys will get a free, um, not followers, God, if I can get this right. I know everybody doesn't get a free pair of shears. Um, 75 people watching the video, we've been up to like 35 or so. Um, we will be giving away one free pair of shears. So share to your friends and we'll see if we can at least get up to 75. We'll see. This is our first session. We're prepping the dog um, for a haircut, and we'll probably do that in another week. Um, I'm gonna start off with the face and just doing small things to teach Ryan how to groom. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and Ryan's going to get my cord, so he will be back in one second. And our dog is patiently waiting here. Jeez, he's gonna stand up. <laughs> All right, plug it in. Holy moly, that's the thickest cord I've ever seen. Thanks. <laughs> All right, go ahead and prep your dog. I'm gonna be standing far away because like I said, my phone's dying and I gotta stand by the plug-in. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. 
Did she say thanks for being so patient with your husband? <laughs> no. How far up am I going up? Like up to here? I, I brush up on everything. So oh. up, 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 and never down. Never down, because you're you're training the hair to lay down, and you want the hair to stand up, because uh, it's right. easier to scissor. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's very important. Sorry if you had a couple bad rooms a couple months. It's ago. fine. If my wrist hurt, I will go down. <laughs> Sometimes my wrist hurts from yeah. um, this prepping. Yeah, the the, the, the bristles. Stuff. Well, the bristles are also farther apart, so it does help with this. Are there any tips you guys have for using the, the brush? Oh my god, Stephanie Wilson. I can't wait for the non-groomer to open this video. <laughs> Seriously, this is a model dog, guys. This is not really how we uh, deal with dogs, correct, Ryan? Yeah, I am a rookie groomer. <laughs> like, totally rookie. The only thing I have any experience with is bathing. bathing. Yep. That's it. He has nothing. He's never scissored a dog. I think he's cut hair and still got really scared to even cut off like a quarter of an inch just to try shears out so this will be so much fun next week i'm excited to see him try to groom this dog kelsey said you can brush the dog down um you're not trimming i still always brush up because it like it, i believe it trains the hair um, did Doggo have too many drinks? Well, you know, we sedate around here so uh, Brian can groom it since he's a rookie. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> that face. <laughs> Hey Blake! It does desire. Oh wait, what are you? I don't know what you're answering. What? I don't know what he's answering. Yeah. Blake, he said it does desire. Oh, probably the brushing up during um, even bath time if you're not trimming the dog. I think that's the last thing I said. Is that Blake Hernandez? Yes. Hey Blake. Congrats on and your blades. Yes, congratulations on your blades. That's an awesome accomplishment. Um. June says brush down and up side to side to separate hair. When it's almost dry, continue to brush up and dry. You're doing pretty good. I'm just doing lay him down. Lay him down and, so he can get to his feet since right. it's the easiest way for this model dog. So the biggest pet peeve I have when I, people do... Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to brush up with the model dog. Let me show you what happens, right? Yeah, let me see. You brush up? Yeah. And you got to hold it. Compound fracture just comes right back into play. <laughs> compound fracture. Just hold it with your other hand. Like right. hold the the pelt, whatever the heck it is, the skin. <laughs> it is like a big pelt this is to me. Oregon Trail. <laughs> um, no, You're like. like kill the bison. <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry, I, I was gonna say something. Did you ever play Oregon Trail? No, I have and not. Exactly. You're too young. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what was I gonna say? There was something important I was gonna say to everybody. What was pelt. it? What? Pelt. Pelt. No, it's not the pelt. It was something else. Oh, the dog isn't biting. Yep, it's true. He's being a very good dog. Gave him sedatives. Gave him sedatives, you know, um, or sedatives. <laughs> um. And no poo on the table yet. Lucky you. This is what every groomer wishes for. This perfect dog that lays down so you can brush it. All right, so once again, model dog. People, you have, if you haven't done a model dog, throw it on the floor and we vacuum it. Bam, just like that. So... You lose a lot of coat with this. It is a pain in the butt. Okay, Ryan, real quick. What is your dryer at? Where are you brushing right now? What, I, are you brushing there? <laughs> so keep, you gotta move your dryer around and then you'll learn the whole foot trick where you just like kick the dryer around, you know, and move it with your foot. No, not like that. 
you push it around with your foot. Oh, the biggest pet peeve. Okay, so my biggest pet peeve when people prep dogs for me is when they don't get the bottom of the foot by the nails. It is so important to get those curls out around the nail bed so when you bevel your feet, they actually, it actually looks good because it's prepped. So like a dog would be completely prepped and then around the nail bed, it's still curly. It drives me crazy, like I hate it. Um, let me see what else. I'm talking like a dog you've never trimmed, like coat you want to lay down. Yeah, like a bathroom brush on a pool, definitely. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it de definitely depends on the breed. Um, no, I see what you're saying, Kelsey. You know, drop-coated breeds, Ryan? You know what a drop-coated breed is, right? What's a drop-coated breed? Question from me. Uh, Give me an example. Blizzard. Blizzard is not... <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, Blizzard, guys. He drops a lot of coat on the floor. Okay, <laughs> it's true. Blizzard was our husky that just passed away two weeks ago. Um, he was a husky which is a double coated breed oh, double coated <laughs> so word, double, drop. double we're looking for a drop coat think about it okay, a drop so coat, uh, Spaniel. yes All right. that's a drop coat breed. Uh, uh, what's that terrier that's always on my AKC championship yorkies no. the, the hound dog that has the skirt the hound a cocker spaniel it's not a a cocker spaniel is a, a spaniel <laughs> Or Spaniel. it's a sporting dog. Right, that's the, right. um, okay, so that's a drop coated breed. Um, okay, let me see. I'm catching up. All right, I'm doing a really bad job. Cause... Drink up. Yes, you need to drink up. You said that. Uh, you didn't answer the question. You told me a cocker spaniel is a hound. Question. I did. Yes. No, I asked it. You better drink. drink. You're gonna drink it anyways. Drink. It's not for me. I asked you the question, a drop-coated breed. Okay, so going back to drop-coated breed, Ryan, which way do you brush up on a drop-coated breed? Let's really, yeah. thank you. Yes, perfect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know what's funny? I'm moving the dog around instead of the dryer. Maybe you guys should think about that. It might work for you. Uh, you did both. <laughs> All right, so how's it going? It's really hard at the bottom, I'm telling you, because it's a model dog, so the, the pelt keeps going. <laughs> what is, it's not the pelt, what is it called? The skin or the... It's the coat. It's the coat? Yeah. Yeah. Hold... The wig. The wig. The wig. There we go. Alright. Ryan ready. needs to drink like three more times after that drop coat combo. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. All right, so here's some more examples, Ryan. Okay, I do have a question. Oh, yes. So, you know how when you're when you're bathing and then you are drying, it's it's better to go slow than, than fast. When you're doing this, when you're brushing, yeah. Should you go slow or yeah. should you go fast? I go medium. <laughs> um, I. <sighs> it's, it's the story of our marriage. So is it, is it large or is it small? It's medium. <laughs> Alright, uh, so like... You're doing good. As far as time, your prep is good. I can I see the leg. focus on this one. Okay, so yeah. This one over here, we just keep wanting to kick it back. Oh, okay. We want to make sure the patellos are in good condition when he leaves and nothing's, you know, no knees are popping out of place. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright. Uh, Kelsey said long smooth strokes. <laughs> I, think, I think I should enter the WPA uh, groom. It's free entry. They didn't say it. Wait a minute. Did they say it had to be live dogs? That's a really great idea. I think it's live dogs. <laughs> Why would, <laughs> Chris Perry, my dog's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> they should have a model dog grooming competition. You should totally enter oh, it. I would, I would get destroyed. Listen, I will be honest with you. So, from what I've heard, and I've experienced it myself, model dogs are really hard to scissor. So, if you can scissor a model dog, Ryan, you can scissor anything. The only downfall is you're working with a moving target with a real dog. <laughs> All right. When would you like me to? Start? Chris Berry's gonna kick you. 
Kelsey. All right, so let's see if I can take my phone off of here. We got a pretty good prep. Let me see that front leg. Let me see around those toes. It looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, the whole inside. The whole inside of the leg. How do you do that? Uh, you pull this leg up and pull it out. There you go. And then make sure your dryer is actually where you're drying. There we go. It's really hard for me to remember that. I know. It should be common sense, but maybe we're lacking some? <laughs> oh, Ryan. I don't like how you formed it in a question. <laughs> But um, it is common sense, you're using a dryer to brush, and the brush and the dryer should be right in the same place. Are we at 75 yet? 75? No, we went up to 50. Sorry. Yeah, like what, 10? 29. 29. All right. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to go over there and unplug my phone because I should be good. Ryan, come to Tennessee in a month to help prep my mini coming in. We needed your skills today. <laughs> All right, so he's got this leg pretty well prepped. By the time he gets done, he's going to have no hair left. <laughs> Look at that brush. <laughs> so this is the area. Oh, his foot keeps... Yeah. So this is the area that you really want to get because... So how do you get... <laughs> All right, Listen, so hold let's be quick. honest, because I know the bristles are really like sensitive to dogs. Yeah. So how do you make sure that you don't mess with their sensitive pad or anything like that? Brush burn? Um, so it's called That's brush burning. Term? Yes, brush burning. Oh, so so over brushing a dog in the same spot or keeping the dryer on a spot <laughs> that it gets hot, such as right now. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about, you know, you want to get really low to the whatever that is. <laughs> All right. So you want to get by the feet. Yeah, how do I get that without getting into their, their nails or anything like that? With the, the okay, so to be honest with you, these brushes are really light on the skin. Alright. Um, it's all based on how much pressure you're putting on the brush. So it's something that, in my opinion, I have the hardest thing to teach people, or it's one of the hardest things for me to teach people is how much pressure to put into brushing or uh, clipping a dog. Um, so how much pressure do you put on the brush? Medium. Medium. <laughs> Medium pressure. Uh, oh, let's see. That wig is terrible to shears. It's actually not that bad. Um, this is the Artero wig, and I've used some of my good shears on it, and it's pretty good. What are some of your good shears? I need to know. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm still running a business. God forbid, I'm like, oh yeah, time to cut, and then it doesn't cut with our scissors. <laughs> we will test them dogs. out. Um, <laughs> are you manhandling that dog? So we will test them out to make sure, but all our shears should cut this this coat. Um, pin coat for the model dog, or pin brush for the model dog. I don't think that pin brush is going to get through this coat, honestly. It's this, thick. I'm gonna, it's so thick. Listen, I've bathed <clears throat> quite a few poodles already. And this coat is Stand up. ridiculously Stand. You're gonna hard learn. to get the shampoo in. Yeah, it it's is hard. Holding a lot of the water. It's Here, you want to show, and I'll we'll switch. You want to show? Yeah, my phone's gonna die, so oh. I have to get off here soon. Oh, uh, where is the brush at? So Let me step on over here. And what I was meaning about holding this wig yep. is you hold this bottom down and then brush up like that. You see what so I'm you hold their paw. I do hold their paw. If it's a real dog, I do hold the paw. <clears throat> but in this, um, with this model dog, holding the paw does nothing for me. So I hold the actual wig and brush out. Taylor said, you're so much nicer training him than I am with my fiance. I scold Duggery next, telling mine, firing him every five minutes. <laughs> Half wet dog, haha, ha, way to be. I am pretty good with my employees and my husband and everybody that works for me. Uh, I have like the most patience, actually. And Kelsey said, <clears throat> Chris Christensen brushes are great because the tines and ends are designed to help you maneuver the yes. hair without hurting a dog. Of course, They're don't great. dig aggressively, but a decent pressure shouldn't hurt a dog with healthy skin. 
It's true. I have not br knock on wood, brush burning <clears throat> dogs for like ten years. R and Ruben Ruben Rios said time. work in small sections for a model dog with pen slicker or comb. Yeah. So this the good thing about this slicker brush is it it's kind of like a pin brush. So it moves a lot and the pins aren't um they're not super it's very flexible. So it's very similar to a pin brush, honestly. It's just in a different style, basically. And they're long pins. So, anyways, um, this is pretty much what we're gonna do tonight. That's not really even prepped. This leg's prepped pretty ni <laughs> nicely. <laughs> All right, let me stand you up. Stop over sending. Let's get a nice stack on there. All right, so, we got that leg done. And we will finish prepping this dog. And then we will be doing a haircut probably next week. It's got a mat. It's got a mat. Something's in there. Oh. <laughs> Here we, we go. Got it out. It's <laughs> easy. <laughs> um, All right. So, so next next week yeah. or two weeks? Uh, probably next week. All right. We'll aim next for next week. week. Remember, life happens, so please don't get you know upset. I know you guys circle it on your calendar now, but just kidding. Um, so we'll aim for next Saturday again. We'll try to make this a... Uh, kind of an ongoing thing. I really do want to get into this side of the business, so. Um, he wants to compete against me in the ring, guys. No, That's the real story on No, here. I think the main, the, there's two reasons why I really want to do this. I really want to see the other side of the industry in terms of how can I make our products better for the customer. And then the other reason is <clears throat> I want to be able to help my wife at the shop um, more than just bathing and being comfortable to wear a God forbid something happens and Jazair can't groom, I can I can easily slide in and, and at least do a quarter of the job well, that we'll she does. We'll just you the so. groomer and I'll be the manager. Uh, didn't <laughs> sign up for that one either. <laughs> Is it still so, good as far as still, st still good? I'm gonna go ahead and back up over here and just plug it in for a little bit. <clears throat> Guys, if you have any uh, tough questions for Jazair on possibly uh, 80s nostalgia that she has no idea oh about. That might be a reason for her to drink. So funny. I'm not good with any of that. I wasn't born. I'm a 90s girl. <laughs> Gracie, Gracie Harmon goes, uh, good job, Ryan. Drink to a job well done. Drink to a job well done. Josh said, Ryan didn't prep before his video. No, no. because here I'm literally teaching everything on camera. Everything, every step of the way. Um, I guess the biggest thing is what kind of trim do you think Ryan should do on this dog? So we could do a poodle trim. We could do. Oh yeah, actually that would that would be really good. You know what? Asian fusion style. Let's do this. Not on this post. Um, well, you guys can do it on this post, but go ahead and comment <laughs> on what. Oh, he's got a Fu Manchu going on. Look at that. Hold on, let me zoom in. I gotta put his eyeballs in. I'm missing his eyes. Yeah. Uh, but his anyways, eyes. why don't you guys tell us what you think I, what what trim I should groom this dog in. We need to give him a you, name let me too. Tell you guys, I don't know my terrier trims. I don't know my sporting trims. I am a poodle groomer. Good job, Kelsey. What did you put? Well, we're gonna ask you a question in just a second, uh, so. I'm a poodle groomer and I know Bichon's a little bit. And uh, what else do I know? Asian Fusion. June Beckwith said a wire fox. Oh, yeah, because I totally know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh said Asian Fusion or Scandinavian. Oh, Scandi would be fun. Uh, Amanda, thank you very much. Uh, did you have About the lefty a, scissors. Oh. Lillian Sanders said poodle. Poodle. Kersey Ball said puppy cut. And she said, I'm totally cutting. Oh, God. She said, to totally poodle puppy cut. I know what that is, guys, but puppy cut. Uh, 7 FC Whatever. all over. <laughs> I can do that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are right, you ready for your question? Yes, what's my question? Your question is name one actor in The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club? Do you know what The Breakfast Club I've is? I've heard of it. It's not Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's what I was thinking in my head. <laughs> I know her. I don't even know her name, actually. Uh, yeah, I know nobody. I believe that's Audrey Hepburn. It is Audrey Hepburn. People say I look like Audrey Hepburn when I was skinnier and smaller. Or you are a beautiful young lady. Yes, when I was that. Um, so, anyways, name one actor. I don't know. <clears throat> Club, uh, I'll give you one. I just watched a movie with Riker, okay. uh, which was The Mighty Ducks. 
And the coach on the Mighty Ducks oh, in the guys, movie. The chunky guy. Was chunky? Movie, right? No. Oh, I'm thinking of a spider movie. No. I don't know what you're doing right now, but you're getting ready. Get your I, bottle. Get your I, bottle because it's, it's going to happen. I so. don't know. Breakfast Club? Emilio Estevez. Who? Emilio Estevez. I don't know who that is. Is this mine? Uh, no, this is yours. I don't know who that is. I don't watch The Breakfast Club. It's a good movie. It's a movie? I thought it was a show. It's actually a podcast, pretty popular podcast, but wow. but Breakfast Club is a movie in the 80s. I thought it was all the kids have detention and they're all different. So you have a oh, jock. I have seen it. Ah. It's you because you made me watch it. Yeah, and you obviously did not care for it. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> let's see. Um, Asian Poodle. All Amanda right. McCauley said, if I had a dollar every time I hear that, I'd be rich. I hear that all the time puppy for cut, puppy, puppy cut. cut. <laughs> uh, let's see. Number 40 in reverse. <laughs> that was I wonder what a blade would do on this coat. I how, have not used a blade on this coat. How about a bearded collie? You won't cut much. It's practically what it is. Let me just. Ryan can't English. Ryan can't English? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Molly Ringwald is another one. Ten all over. Ten all over. Okay. Listen, he has no experience, so ten all over could be a serious challenge. It might be. Listen, yeah, for real. I've got, I think I've got three of these. Um, <clears throat> I've got three of the all body pelts and <laughs> I think I've got four faces. So we've got some room to play around. So definitely, um, maybe I'll do, you know what I'll do? I'll do a poll on like four or five different trims for me to do next Saturday. Yeah, let's do it. But am I going to be able to do a whole groom in like an hour or do no I just way. need to focus on the feet or we're the face or something? We're going to do legs and then we're <clears> going to do. Face okay. and then we're gonna do body work. Okay. And only half. So I feel like I need a off. permit to get my blueprint for all this stuff I'm doing. Yeah. Like for real, I if I'm gonna be doing. You think you can do it because what you just said, groom a whole dog in an hour for your first try. It's not gonna it's happen. Hilarious. I'm gonna be able to do happen. one foot exactly, in an hour. Exactly, and you're gonna be perfecting that foot. So yeah, that's normal. And I'm not a perfectionist. You, I'm not. So I perfection. I'm when I groom. Drake! What? You can't talk. Uh, when I compete, I'm a perfectionist, but I do my dogs about <clears> 75% <throat> good. For my yeah, at the shop, because shop. it's mostly pets. But still, like, I still do my grooms good. Uh, somebody actually did say that they want to see a 10 all over. We can try that, honestly. I wonder, I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I can try it. All right. What it looks like on one side of this dog, because I've never used a blade on this. Has anybody used a blade on a model dog? I, I mean, people do spe on them. So. Specifically, the Artero. The Artero. This one, is the yeah. Artero model dog. So, if anybody, what is it? A ten? Ten. Yeah. Ten blade. Short but not shaved, Palmer. Short but not shaved. It must be an inside joke. I'm not cool enough to get it. Dominique said that I want to see this one hour groom. Dominique, give me a couple years. I'll yeah, get it. I'll get it for you. And it'll still be on the model dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think that's it. I um, think that's it. Check into our poll because we're going to do a poll um, with some of the suggestions you said. <laughs> <She's here>. What? <laughs> it's hitting you hard. <laughs> I'm not even buzzed. I'm just, this is me normally. I'm a little uh, goofy. <laughs> Somebody's lacking some common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, check out the poll that Ryan will be posting on Loyalty Pet Products. We will put Asian Fusion Style on there. <laughs> Poodle. Um, what was it? A Welsh Terrier was the other one that I know nothing about. And oh, that, I think that was the one that June said. Hold on. Probably won't put <clears> that <throat> one on there because I don't know. I know Stouncher's a little bit. Uh, Michons. Uh, I don't know how many people do Michons. Let me see. Art. Asian Poodle. June said... Oh, hold on. I think it was Welsh. I'm looking for it. Wire Fox. Oh, Wire Fox. Yeah. So, check it out. Do the poll. And we will see you guys next week. Brian, you want to go back on camera? <laughs> Rookie Taylor ride. Taylor goes, when he starts trimming, have someone make the dog do flips. <laughs> the dog do flips. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Oh, we should get our drinks. Oh, oh you're okay. a drinker now. <laughs> drink, drink, drink every night. <laughs> no, every night on live, we're drinking. Late night. Uh -oh.
Late Night with Loyalty. Late, late Night with Loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining us What's on your Saturday head? night. Uh, hair. I think it's a shadow. Oh, yeah. Isn't that weird? You see it's, it? It's in the camera? It's weird. Okay, so anyways, what? Anyways, thank you guys for joining us on your Saturday night. Uh, hopefully we provided you some, <laughs> some entertainment. I know for next week, probably I'll try to get two feet. I think two that, feet done? Two feet done. But okay. I think the plan originally the was, the well, let's slow it down there, girly. I think Jazare originally had it planned to where she would do one, mm -hmm. and then I would do the other one. Yes. So I would watch her just like you guys would be watching. We'll watch her do a foot, mm -hmm. and then, am I saying that wrong? Should it be a leg? Uh, a leg, a foot, yeah, because the foot's not going to take you All an right. hour. So we'll do, she'll do a leg, I'll watch what she does, and then I'll go ahead and start doing the one of the other legs, and then she can critique me while we're on live. So I think that that's probably yes. the best thing. And then when we get done, we're going <clears> to <throat> see my side of the dog and his side of the dog. It will be fun. <laughs> yeah. And you um, never know, you might be the best groomer and you just don't even know you have the hidden talents. And if you grooming. vote for my leg, I might give you a free pair of scissors. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go <laughs> quarantine, corn drunk. Quarantine. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much. And I think the next time that I will see you, our limited edition design leggings and sports bras will be Check out. Check them out. Tuesday Excited. trivia will be up in the air. kind of depends. I really like spending time with my family right now, and we're doing this once a week now, too. So we'll see. I'll try to do some Tuesday trivia, but we got to get the numbers up there. So <clears throat> that's it. We're going to go. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, that was a hard one. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. All right. Love you all. Be safe, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you creeper.